Hi, so I'm Ben Calvert. I'm one of the co-founders of Cassini, and I'd like to talk a little bit about seminars and some unexpected parallels between seminars and dark matter, which is a mysterious substance that's thought to make up between 20 and 25 percent of our universe. So let's start off with dark matter. Um, some of you might know this already, but um, dark matter is very pervasive. It's found in clumps all across the universe. Second of all, dark matter is very hard to observe. It's basically invisible to the, to the naked eye. You really have to look, find it indirectly. And thirdly, dark matter is really, really important in the universe because it binds all the matter together. It yeah, binds the stars together, binds the galaxies together. It's the important force for you know, you know, binding everything together. So how are seminars similar? Well, seminars are similarly very pervasive. They happen in you know, university departments you know, all around the world. So if you went to any department here in London, yeah, really anywhere in the world, you'd find there's you know, seminars happening every day. And we estimate there's something like a million seminars that are happening uh, kind of, you know, in the world every, every year. So, um, yeah, the, so kind of the second thing about seminars is they've been historically quite difficult to observe because they've happened in person, in you know, seminar rooms and departments. And it's only since the pandemic that they've moved online and it's been possible to open these up international me and turn them into uh, you know, global research communities. And then the third thing about seminars is they're also really important at bringing things together. In this case, bringing researchers together and allowing researchers to form communities where they share the latest discoveries and you know, talk about their research. So what we want to do with Cassini is to open up these seminar communities and allow journals to participate in them as well. So that's what we want to do with Cassini. We want to allow every journal to spin up a seminar series for their community of authors, of editors, of reviewers, and of readers. And so what we built is a platform that makes this really easy to do. So journals can really easily spin up seminar series, run engaging, intimate online events where authors can talk about their latest research. And what we found is that you know, authors really appreciate the opportunity to uh, present their work in this year's seminar forum, it's a great way for them to get additional exposure, to get additional, additional impact for the work that they're um, publishing. So that's going to be the benefits for authors. Let's have a look, look at the benefits for publishers and for journals that use um, seminars. So what we've seen uh, looking at our partnerships with you know, publishers is that authors really love the service. We've done some uh, net promoter school surveys where we've asked whether or not uh, authors would recommend this to their um, colleagues. And we found uh, this results in a score of 79, which corresponds to really the excellent, um, excellent score. We've also seen that people that participate in these seminars as attendees will later go on to become authors. In fact, we found that somewhere between four and five percent of your seminar attendees will go on to publish with you in the next 12 months. So you can think of your today's seminar attendees as being tomorrow's authors in your journals. And it's not just your existing journals that you're able to keep engaged and uh, keep loyal. You can actually reach new audiences as well. And uh, we found that 40% of the submissions from your seminar series attendees will correspond to authors that haven't published with you previously. So I've talked a bit about live events. I want to talk a bit about what we do with the content that gets produced from those live events as well. So we think a lot about the recordings and how to get additional value from the recordings that's coming out of these seminars. So the first thing we do is assign them with DOIs that make them discoverable and allow the authors to add these seminars to their you know, research uh, resumes to their CDs. What we also do is we've developed a proprietary AI that can watch those seminars and identify key moments. So every, for example, every time a reference is mentioned in one of those seminars, and we've opened up that data and have allowed other products to build on top of that data to include that you know, engaging seminar content within research and workflows. For example, we have partnerships with uh, Dimensions and also with Paravit products, including EndNode. So if you open up the latest EndNode uh, reference manager and you look at the references, you'll see if there's been a mention of any one of those references in a Cassini seminar. And you can click on that link and be taken to the very moment in the seminar where that reference is being discussed. And so you can imagine there's like additional context and nuance that can be delivered by um, the seminar speaker that might not be included in the presentation or in the, the journal. We also find um, that we can add links within our recordings straight back to published content. 
So whenever you're watching a Scassini video, you'll see overlaid links that take you back to uh, publisher platforms and research articles, and that needs to increase discoverability and uh, increased usage. So I wanted to finish on maybe like a final thought um, which touches on research integrity, which I know has uh, yeah, been on the minds of lots of people. If we think about some of the problems that we're facing around paper mills, around sort of like rogue use of yeah, generative AI, what really leaves that possible is the fact that we've disintermediated the creators of research from the consumers of research, we sort of disintermediated the researchers from the readers. And I think seminars can be a really powerful way to try bring those together again and make sure that the real humans, the real researchers behind the research get reconnected to the editors, get reconnected to the readers, and that, that can be a really powerful channel to reintroduce trust into the publishing process and uh, hopefully address some of the you know, research integrity concerns. Great, well, thanks very much. Um, if you've got any questions like this, feel free to find me later. And particularly if you're doing anything with special collections, um, we have to talk about some cool things you might want to try.